Hey everybody, John Ellis with a quick update. This is what's going on with Uphill Media, and we've got some good news and some bad news. Um, first of all, thank you all so much. Volunteers, donors, patrons, uh, really appreciate it, especially right now. Everybody that's helping out in the Slack, everybody that's working together uh, in the audience, in the chat, that those of you who are donating money, time, effort, I appreciate it because that's how this place runs. Without you guys, there's no reason to even be here. So thank you. I just want to say that. Um, going to go through some things. Good news uh, right now. Progressive Oregon with Larry Taylor. We're going to do the first show of that. That's today at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. And uh, I'm excited about that because that's working with the Progressive Caucus. Larry Taylor is the chair of the Progressive Caucus of Oregon. And I'm, uh, uh, while I'm a card-carrying Democrat, I'm a progressive Democrat. I'm not interested in the same democracy out of the Democrats that we've had in Oregon for the last 11 years, 10 years, whatever it's been. Uh, we've been in control, but we really haven't done a lot to move things forward because they've been corporate Democrats who are more interested in taking paychecks from big interests and staying in power. And so uh, this show is an effort to do a couple things. One, encourage people to be uh, involved in, in politics and, and get involved in the, in the ground game in their area. And we're really calling out to rural Oregon Oregonians um, and to teach. Larry's going to teach us about uh, what the caucus is, what, a lot of different things about the inner workings of the government, how people get chosen, how we move up in the ranks, how we take power which I think is important because there's a lot of little details and intricacies about that that, um, that none, a, lot, a lot of us don't know. I don't know, right? So we're going to learn that. Um, so that's very excited about that. Uh, today, if you can, join us at 10 a.m. Pacific. That'd be great. And then every Sunday, we're going to do that with Larry and hopefully set an example as to what other uh, local caucuses, progressive movements, Democratic parties can, can do with, um, with what we do here, right? Okay, so next, maybe... This is a maybe because I don't have a confirmation from it. And Scott was just telling us this in Slack. So maybe on the 12th, Nina Turner at Scott's event, which is basically his Democratic group, whichever one he's working with, that's going to broadcast their meeting. And they want to use our what we do here, right? The engagement broadcast process and the technology to to broadcast their meeting, which is fantastic. That's whole reason I got involved with this was to work with other progressive groups to broadcast the message, right? So that's going to be really cool. Hopefully that'll happen. Um, uh, also, Larry Taylor, who knows a lot about uh, technology because he worked for Intel as a, a manager for a long time, and uh, he's, he's, he's going to talk to me, hopefully, about the longevity of this, and maybe I can you know, maybe connect me with some resources or help us with guidance on how to move forward with uh, this volunteer network since it's reached the point of implosion again just with it we need to it needs to either become a real entity or it needs to do something different so hopefully we're going to talk to Larry so those that's the good news is so that's good um, the bad stuff is that uh, we had to reschedule next week's or this coming we the people which is on Wednesday, and it was with uh, uh, Topher Brennan, and he's running uh, for U.S. Senate, California. Uh, he's um, he's running U.S. Senate. It, apologies, Topher. Uh, this gear is in my garage, and I don't have AC in the garage. And this is one of the big problems with how do we move forward. We the people is gaining traction, uh, but I can't do good we the peoples if I'm going to have 107 degrees. It's going to be 107 degrees Wednesday. In the Pacific Northwest, the hottest time of the day in the summer is between about 4 and 7 p.m., All right? So in here, I have to keep the door closed. I have to turn off all the fans so that I can keep it quiet, and that won't work. <laughs> I'll be sweating, and it'll be dripping off of me. It was an interview with Topher Brennan from John Ellis in the sauna is basically what it would be. So I had to reschedule that. I don't know if we'll have to reschedule another one. And uh, that, that speaks to the major issue that we have here is that if we're going to grow the network and we're going to continue to do these shows and we're gaining traction, Nina Turner possibly uh, coming into the Hangout. This wouldn't be like a Live You solo thing. She'd be in the Hangout, right? And... So that worries me. I don't want to be sweating, dripping all over the place, talking to these people. That's, that's, that's not good. Uh, so that's a, that's a concern. 
the solo is also a concern because apparently uh, my camera and the cord and connections, there's some problems going on there. Uh, that's what we had the problems yesterday with, with uh, Scott and broadcasting from uh, the Iowa event. So I still haven't talked with Joyce about the live you solo and our continued use of it. I don't even know if we have the ability to continue to using it. So it, right now the solo is just kind of off the table because it's it's not working for us. And we, we all put a bunch of time and effort into this event that was supposed to happen yesterday. And, and it didn't happen because of, of technical issues there. So that's a bad thing. Part of those technical issues have nothing to do with the solo. They have to do with Comcast. And uh, I'm on a residential plan here. And even though I pay for at least 20 up, megabits per second up, and 100 down, and I think I pay for more than 20, I don't get that. I don't get that. Yesterday, it was cutting in and out constantly. I don't get anything near 20 up. I did a speed test at, at one point when we were trying to run things, and it was 0.78. And there's nothing I can do. No, I'm, not, I'm not on a business contract, and that's the big thing. If I were on a business contract, and I used to be on a business contract, the Internet's a lot more reliable. They're assholes over there in the business world, but that's okay. Uh, uh, they charge you more, right? And that, so that's another restriction is continuing to grow this with the Internet connection that I have here. Even though I'm paying for what's supposed to be good up speed, I don't get reliable up speed, and that causes... A lot of problems so that's another issue comcast is not our friend all of these things have to do with money a place to be more reliable internet which costs more money more reliable gear right because this is all old uh, the bottom line is i i we're in that stuck spot again and hopefully i can figure something out here with town with larry with people but um there it is there's your update we will continue to do what we do. We will not stop until the ship falls apart, right? Until I say that this broke or that broke and now we can't do anything. Um, but that's where we're at. Good things happening. Lots of good things happening. Lots of good shows. We have the Pseudo Intellectual Show, Episode 6, happening tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, it, uh, I can't believe it's not Buddha, a fantastic uh, title. We're going to be talking about Buddha, and, and, and I have no idea what they're going to be talking about. That's what they're there for. Uh, we've got the show this morning. You know, so a lot of good things, but we're in a, we're in a spot here. And uh, thank you all for being here. I just want to let you know where we're at. And uh, we'll see you online.